Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There was one SBC that was going to bring me back onto FIFA 23 to grind just a little bit more before this game ends, and EA dropped it yesterday, and of course, it was because we didn't talk about it in yesterday's video. That was the plan, and it freaking worked. Yes, we're going to talk about the 99 rated footies SBC that dropped yesterday, and of course, the potential for still a couple more of those to drop before this promo is over and before we're fully into EAFC 24. So a lot to talk about there, but we're also going to do a bit of a combo video today and look a little bit also into some FC 24 stuff that happened yesterday with some additional dates that were confirmed that we kind of didn't expect to see on Twitter yesterday. So a little bit of that, a little bit of a combo action going on today in the video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the big SBC and I would show you the SBC, but hey, we actually got it done straight away because I told you guys right at the beginning if they were going to drop a messy SBC that would rope me back into the menu grind and it's actually not that difficult to do guys only 26 squads for this Lionel Messi coming in at a price point that is really really solid 3.2 actually that price has gone up 3.2 million coins is up from where he was he was 2.7 mil in the first hour i have to imagine that that's just because some higher rated fodder is moving up in price uh what are 97s 27,000 coins 29k for osaman uh what was he yesterday because that is definitely moving up in price i believe Okay, he was 22K and now he's 27,000 coins. Guys, the power of Lionel Messi having an SBC. Look at this fodder rising. Still 32, or sorry, 26 challenges to complete, 3.2 million coins. It's not that bad. It just takes a little bit of time grinding the 85 times 10. 3.3 million. You can see here, 79% upvote. Guys, if you want to do this Lionel Messi SBC, five star, five star, of course. The premium card, you don't even need any links to him. Of course, the Inter-Miami links aren't that great anyway for the rest of the game. Besides the Jordi Alba and the Busquets, it's a really, really easy craft. And if you're coming back to FIFA just because EA dropped this SBC, let me give you a couple of tips on how you can get it done very easily. Of course, the daily bronze, silver, and gold SBCs will get you off the ground, especially the daily gold. That it is uh, 20 times per day is really, really nice. When you start running out of gold players like I did a lot during the SBC crafting process that's a really easy one to do you can then turn those into the preseason crafting upgrade if you want to or just put those gold straight into 85 times tens with the higher rated players that you get now the 85 times 10 is the crucial sbc it's the one you do over and over and over and the extras that you get from it those high rated players that's what goes into the messy sbc now i'll also give you guys another tip there's an 82 times 100 sbc that's out right now and once you start running out of a lot of golds maybe around you know 10 squads in 12 12 squads in this 82 times 100 SBC at any point during the messy crafting process is insane. Don't sleep on it because I thought nah, it's four squads, 91 and 92 rated. Those are just fodder squads I can put into messy, right? It is so helpful for getting all of the 82, 83, and 84 rated cards that are inside of this, along with a lot of high rated fodder. It is so worth it, guys. You get so many cards back and it helps your 85 times 10 grind immensely since you're turning in 82s and 83s to fill out the rest of your 85 times 10 squad and you're then you're not turning in like bronze silver and non-rare gold cards instead it's absolutely insane so the Messi's in the club you can see him right there beautiful card tried him out for a couple games yesterday gonna try him out probably for a couple more today just so that we have the card and, and we can say that we have attained the 99 Messi. so that's kind of the grind and the craft and I don't know about any of you, unless you already have the Messi, which is, I know, not very many of us. It's kind of motivating, again, to get back on and be like, okay, especially like, guys, I timed it yesterday. I even tweeted about it. It took me two hours and 39 minutes to complete this SBC. And yesterday was National Video Game Day, too, as well. Like, that's cool. Whatever. What a day to, to drop Messi EA. Uh, so we did that yesterday. It doesn't take that long to grind in one sitting. Of course, since it's a lot less squads than Ronaldo, that is a big W. So that was the big news from yesterday. Now, a couple other things I want to point out. Some people are asking now that we had this Messi and the 99 footies conversation is kind of alive again. Um, we talked about potentially more footies SBCs coming towards the end of the week, and I think that's very possible. But guys, I don't think we're going to get one for Mbappe. I think it's pretty unlikely that we would get an Mbappe SBC. We could, but I think there's a higher chance of th something like that happening for maybe somebody like Neymar. And we'll wait till the end of the week to really dive into that a little bit more. 
Um, because of course Friday is going to be a big day for FIFA 23 content as it relates to FC 24 as well as the, the database coming out and new objectives in game to grind for that. So we'll talk a little bit more about that then since that's a couple days in the future, but just kind of put that on your radar that there could be still more 99 rated footies players up coming now with this being one of the last fifa 23 videos probably this week we're gonna switch we're in the kind of limbo mode right we're switching between fc 24 fifa 23 as stuff comes up um until friday this is probably gonna be the last video talking specifically about fifa 23 stuff so uh content today on wednesday might be a decent day the 94 plus player pick we're gonna talk about this for a second i know some of you guys are still grinding this in the menus with the 85 times 10 craft you're like nate i'd rather do this to try to pack messy than try to do 26 squads that's a risk it's a gamble but you could uh if you're trying to hit ronaldo as well or maybe it's Lewandowski, benzema any of those 99s and bape he's probably easiest to hit out of this then the 85 times 10s i opened a bunch of those today crafting messy the best player that i pulled was i don't know donnarumma a couple times allison a couple times Al no i got alloway no not alloway uh a betty pele that's who i got a couple times from the 85 times 10 as well but i think this should come back today and ea just make it unlimited repeatable that'd be nice and then we do have a transfer sbc daily blend expiring so maybe they would throw another player sbc in today i'm uh, not expecting that but it's possible um for that as well so again not a ton going on on fifa 23 as always but make sure you're getting your objectives done the preseason objectives to join the club i got mine done ready to go and i'm ready for more of those to come out on friday for the last few for sure to get that done and dusted and then we'll be done with those those are the most important thing on this game right now for sure now speaking of eafc 24 let's transition a little bit into talking about this because there was some new news that was dropped yesterday we, i know we did a video yesterday talking about the dates that you need to know and there's a little bit of expounding upon that i want to do in today's video but also ea as we expected they're dropping some ratings every single day and yesterday it was the premier league and the women's premier league getting showcased for some ratings now here's the issue right ea posts these photos and they post these cards with ratings like you see a diogo jota who looks pretty good you see a trippier card you see a tonali who looks cracked we've known a lot of these ratings for most of these cards especially for the higher rated ones already for a while now uh, but again what it is nice to see along with these are some of the actual head scans the, the, the images for the players and then the traits as well the play styles the new trait system play styles for these cards but the problem is ea haven't added it to their ratings page and in the tweet they even say get set for early access now you know like like you should be able to click on this link on their literally this tweet link you should be able to click on that and see all the added ratings but still all they have on here are the top uh 24 cards men's and women's players you still have Lionel messi showing with medium medium work rates uh so i'm hoping that they update their website with all these players that they keep tweeting out the men's and the women's players because they tweeted out both yesterday and man there are some crazy looking cards that are inside of here especially with some of the uh play style pluses that show on the outside of the card some of these cards look really good but i wish i could see the individual stats on the card through the ratings database from ea that would be nice, but unfortunately, it's not there. And then what you're starting to see as well on Twitter is clubs and footballers individually and together posting some of their ratings. Like maybe they didn't know the actual time, like the embargo time or where they were supposed to tweet out their ratings. Um, this looks like one of the best French left backs to start off the year. A couple people are commenting that uh, Basha is very short, so that could hurt her meta usability in game but the early crosser play style uh trade with really good stats honestly 72 and above in every single stat with pretty good pace and french league one leon leon links uh that's not a bad looking french left back there i think spurs even tweeted out uh their squad ratings with official images yesterday as well and some efl cards were posted as well so just keep an eye on twitter there's been a lot of things posted in terms of the ratings. Now, of course, um, we've been doing a lot of the rating searching. We've been looking at a bunch of these different cards, and we've been finding some absolutely overpowered cheap beasts inside of the uh, FIFA 20, FC 24 um, foot scoreboard ratings. But um, we're still waiting for EA to drop their full database, and that's on Friday. And at this point, it's kind of just like EA, just just do it, right? We have this here. Just just drop the real one. That's what we're ready for. So Friday can't get here soon enough for that sort of information and that sort of news. Now, speaking of dates, this is one of the last things I want to cover in today's video is 
Weaver Foot tweeted out yesterday, and he wasn't the only one. There were multiple people tweeting out yesterday about some official release dates that were leaked. Now, here's my question with all of this is, and just like with a lot of the leaks that we get, we're always questioning, where is this leak coming from? Because in yesterday's video, we talked about some of these dates. We talked about September 20th being the day that we get on the web app, which seemed very likely. Now, he is saying that it is confirmed and official but I don't know where this is leaked from. I'm guessing he has good sources if he's tweeting this out. It could be something along the lines of those um, launch update pitch notes that we mentioned in yesterday's video. Maybe he got an early look at those or some inside access to EA channels about that web app access date. Now, of course, we definitely know about the 22nd being the early access, the ultimate release date that is on EA's website. The interesting thing here is content creator access. I think that is something that happens every year. You see people get on the game early. Um, being in the EA creator program, that could mean I would be getting on the game early as well. But let me tell you guys something. I have no idea about this. Like, zero. Zero clue. So... If that's true, uh, then he's got some inside sources that are pretty, pretty far in there, man, because no idea. So that's all I'm saying about that. But the 20th for the web app, that really is the biggest date to know. That's It's more so confirmed that we're getting the web app on the 20th, which is nice to know, which was expected. But of course, nice to know for that there. So that's kind of the news for FC24. It's kind of a quiet day besides Messi, which again, I'll get excited for Messi. Bring me back on FIFA 23 for a little bit. The menu grind, yes, I'm getting a little bit tired of it. It's getting a little bit, you know, just I've, I've been opening packs with insane cards now for like a month in this game and it just feels like, all right, I'm ready for the FC24 grind. I'm excited like you guys are as well. We're going to continue with the preparation videos, but I wanted to make this one today and especially talk about the Messi SBC because that was one that we were all really hoping to see. Wow, the, the good fodder is continuing to roll in. Um, yeah, we were hoping to see that Messi card, and we did get it. So get that SBC done if you want to. It doesn't take that long. It's pretty easy to craft, and you can go enjoy that card here for a couple of days um, before FC24 is out. Now get ready for some more FC24 preparation videos coming really, really soon on the channel as well as we continue to be in this limbo time between FC24 and FIFA 23. But if you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate the Photo Count. See you there. Peace out.